we're trying to find healing, we're trying to find strength, and we're trying to tap into the power, the advocacy power of performing arts, you know, spoken word, poetry, um, uh, the music, music, um, and we're really trying to, to find that power to help us keep going on. But I also think it's an opportunity for us to, you know, just bond um, and just network. We've been protesting for a while. Some people we've seen, they've, you know, stood by us. They've shielded us um, during, you know, the police brutality incidents. So we, we want to be able to network and just uh, build stronger bonds uh, amongst ourselves. Despite the government's swift actions, the protesters are concerned that the measures outlined by the government do not have timelines or due dates. We also realize that, you know, the measures that the government has uh, decided on don't have timelines, they don't have deadlines, they don't have offices which are accountable um, uh, for these measures. So we, the next step is to now sort of calm down with the protests um, and use this opportunity to formally engage government on how to further strengthen the measures that they have and possibly look at also, you know, uh, effecting the other measures uh, which are in our demands but which have not been uh, currently put in place. Um, but, but as for the protests that are already planned to happen in other, can, in other towns that are not Vintuk, we are going ahead with them. Um, I think it makes it easy because I think all of them have had notice. Um, so we're going to go ahead with those ones. We're going to keep um, posting on Twitter, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. We're going to keep the con conversation going in, in terms of building an intolerance of SGBV in the country. Um, but most importantly, I think what is most important at this point is we are demanding you know, that the police apologizes for the way they reacted on Saturday. Other protesters at the healing gathering believe that government's resolutions are just to appease them to stop protesting. I'm not content. First of all, I think it's incomplete and it's inconsistent. And I think these resolutions were just drafted so that to appease us, but there is no deadline. They did not say when they are going to put these um, legislatives in, in, in motion. They did not give us any indication of the way forward. They just drafted papers and put them there. So we want action. We demand, we want to see. I feel that what was drafted, you know, is very promising, especially when it comes to the rape charges and everything. But we want them implemented, and we want them implemented as soon as possible, not just a written paper that is just there. And I feel that that is what they want to do to us. And that is why I'm not, I, I will be happy or we will be happy when we see, you know, what is on paper be practiced. Coincidentally, the members of the Namibian police force were seen conducting an operation in the same street where the protesters gathered.